is Okeo Adewale, your economics instructor on radio for today. I shall be taking you through the concept of elasticity of demand. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define elasticity of demand, to identify and explain the various types of elasticity of demand, and three, describe how elasticity of demand is measured. At this point, it is important for us to remind ourselves of the meaning of demand as this is central to the understanding of the concept of elasticity of demand. Demand can be defined as the quantity or amount of goods and services consumers are willing, able and ready to buy at the prevailing market price over a specified period of time. Some of the factors influencing demand include price of the commodity, price of other commodities, income of the consumers, population, taste and preferences, seasons and festivities, government policy, and so on and so forth. Back to the topic of the day, the concept of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity of a commodity but to a little change in the price of the commodity income of the consumer or to changes in the price of other commodities that is the extent to which the quantity bought of a commodity changes as a result of a small change in price income of the consumer and price of other commodities. This emphasizes the fact that quantity demanded of a commodity at any point in time react to changes in the price of that commodity. Changes in the income of the consumer and of course changes in the price of other commodities. That is, at any point in time the quantity demanded of a commodity is a function of the price of that commodity. A fall in price will lead to a rise in the quantity demanded, but the degree at which the quantity demanded adjusts to a fall or rise in price is what elasticity of demand measures. The extent to which the quantity demanded adjusts to a fall or rise in the income of the consumer is what elasticity of demand measures. And lastly, the extent to which the quantity demanded of a commodity reacts or adjusts to the prices of other commodities is what elasticity of demand measures. I want to appreciate you sincerely for listening. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you and God bless. You are welcome back to the lesson on the concept of elasticity of demand. In the previous broadcast, we learned about the meaning of elasticity of demand. It is now time to identify and explain the various types of elasticity of demand. The various types of elasticity of demand include 1. Price elasticity of demand 2. Income elasticity of demand and 3. Cross elasticity of demand. I'll take them one after the other. Price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity bought of a commodity to a little change in the price of the commodity. That is, the extent to which the quantity demanded of a commodity changes due to a small change in price. Again, 
Price elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity bought of a commodity to a little change in the price of the commodity. That is, the extent to which the quantity demanded changes due to a small change in price. That is, how will the quantity of a commodity demanded react to a little change in the price of the commodity? This is what the elast price elasticity of demand measures. Now, income elasticity of demand. Income elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of the quantity bought of a commodity to a little change in the income of the consumer. That is, the extent to which the quantity demanded of a commodity changes as a result of a small change in income of the consumer. Again, income elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of the quantity bought of a commodity to a little change in the income of the consumer. That is, the extent to which the quantity demanded of a commodity changes as a result of a small change in income of the consumer. This emphasizes the change in quantity demanded as a result of a fall or rise in the income of the consumer. And this is what income elasticity of demand measures. How the quantity demanded of a commodity reacts to a fall or rise in the income of the consumer. Lastly, cross elasticity of demand. Cross elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity bought of commodity A to a little change in the price of commodity B. That is, how the quantity of commodity A demanded will react to a little change in the price of commodity B. Again, cross elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity bought of commodity A to a little change in the price of commodity B. That is, how the quantity of uh, demanded of commodity A will react to a little change in the price of commodity B. It is important to note that cross elasticity of demand is used to determine the relationship between two commodities, especially when the commodities are close substitutes. That is, either of those commodities can be used in place of the other. Thank you for listening. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you and God bless. You are welcome back to the final presentation on the concept of elasticity of demand. Which after considering the meaning of elasticity and the types of elasticity of demand, we shall now be looking at the measurement of elasticity of demand. I will start with the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand is measured with the formula percentage change in quantity demanded all over percentage change in price. Percentage change in quantity demanded equals Q2 minus Q1 all over Q1 multiplied by 100 where q2 is the new quantity and q1 is the old quantity percentage change in price equals p2 minus p1 all over p1 multiplied by 100 where p2 is the new price and p1 is the old price upon completion of our calculation we arrive at our answer which can be 
greater than 1, less than 1, 0, infinity, or 1. When our answer is greater than 1, it is elastic. When the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is less than 1, it is inelastic. When it is 1, it is unitary, perfectly elastic, it is infinity. Perfectly inelastic, it is 0. Now to income elasticity of demand. It is measured with this formula. Percentage change in quantity demanded all over percentage change in income. Percentage change in quantity demanded equals Q2 minus Q1 all over Q1 multiplied by 100. Q2 is the new quantity, while Q1 is the old quantity. Percentage change in income is equal to Y2 minus Y1 all over Y1 multiplied by 100. Y2 is the new income, Y1 is the old income. Upon completion of a calculation, we arrive at either positive or negative. It is positive when a rise in income leads to increase in demand and it is negative when a rise in income leads to a decrease in the quantity demanded of that particular commodity. Finally, cross elasticity of demand. This is measured with the formula percentage change in quantity demanded of commodity A all over percentage change in the price of commodity B. Now, percentage change in quantity demanded of commodity A equals the percentage change in quantity demanded of commodity A equals new quantity of A minus old quantity of A divided by old quantity of A multiplied by 100. Then percentage change in price of commodity B equals new price of commodity B minus old price of commodity B all over old price of commodity B. Now, cross elasticity of demand measures relationship between changes in the price and quantity demanded of complementary and competitive goods. It is negative for complementary goods but positive for close substitute, that is competitive goods. Thank you for listening as we come to the end of this class. But before I finally I bring the session to a close, I'd like to encourage you to search for the uses of elasticity of demand and the meaning of elastic demand, inelastic demand, perfectly elastic, elastic and perfectly inelastic demand with the appropriate diagrams as assignment. It is my hope that you have been able to learn based on our learning objectives on this subject matter. Thank you and God bless as we bring this session to a close. And I, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.